Welcome back to this Jester's World. Let's dive back into another episode of The Walking Dead. Where are you headed? Uh, <laughs> that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. We got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone has. You said it. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be safe up there. <laughs> All right. That's it. All right. Can we talk without you beating the fucking shit out of me? Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. Are there any maps up here? I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Hey. Yeah. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure Cat would be, uh, Okay with you, so forget it. Okay. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? No. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Okay. It's the best plan. Mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. God damn it. <sighs> well, can't get the map. There's gotta be a way of getting that map. Alright, Ben. Hey, ben. <coughs> Aren't many Aren't of us. Many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude, if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, guess not. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See you. Yeah. Yeah, Lee, that didn't come off all that right. Kind of was like, uh, should have been the one. Ooh, there we go. It's a fifth of whiskey. He's lived here a while. Right. Before I do this, go back up. Ben's not all that bad, but Lee, I, I feel like Lee said that when I played the game the last time, too. With this fifth of whiskey, does he have something different? Nope. I'll uh, talk to you later. Found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. Sure. Ooh. 
not known for its finish. No kidding. Hmm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Go back in here and see if we can't get Kenny to get off of his ass. <coughs> Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. Er, frickin' Ray. Now. Thanks. He really didn't have to come back. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. Oh, what? shit. It's all my fault. Jesus, Ben. I know. They said they had my friend. That he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No. Just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. Uh, he... You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See you. Yeah. Well, the shit came out dirty laundry right then. You have to live with the choice that you ended up making on. All right, Clem. Hey, Clem. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh... Tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. <clears throat> Me neither. He might be an okay guy though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. Be careful around Ben. I like Ben. I know. He's just young doesn't make the best choices. I'm young. You're smart. Just listen to me, okay? And be careful. You need to know how to protect yourself. Yep. Like hiding or running <coughs> away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time, and don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Squeeze the trigger. Steadily, okay? Give it a quick yank or pull. Steady. 
I can do that. Yep. Every time. It'll be tough, but just remember to do that. You'll hit what you're aiming at. Okay, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice Come on, Clem. Easy. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Okay, a little higher. A bit to the right. Steady now. Almost got it. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. Good job. Do this a couple more times so you can get this hang of it real good. Nope. to the left. Aim lower. Why did you go so Aim far? To the right. Close. Now keep it steady. Why'd you there go you too go. far to nice. the left? Or maybe I was just thinking that she was really far to the right, so got to keep this going until she actually gets it. Boom. I did it. Yeah, you did. Good job. I squeezed the trigger, just like you said. I know. You did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. Next thing. My hands <coughs> hurt, and my ears have noise in them. Like. <laughs> yes, you will. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Okay, we'll look for them. Really? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna wanna look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the Savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh, hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and... Maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M... M something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Right. Can I tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. All 
All right. It's time to do the haircut. Hi. So you're probably not going to like this. Oh, no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kind of. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it? And I got mad. Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mow. It's a good thing. <laughs> the look on his face like, oh shit, how am I going to be doing this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Different. But you do it now to protect yourself and to protect me. I was sent to jail. Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah, Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. <laughs> There's the Clementine I know. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little shot. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh shit! Hold on everybody! <laughs> Fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. It'd be who? Find trouble. Define trouble. Anything that gets you killed, or worse, and it tends to come hand in hand with groups of guys in distress. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude! It's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. I'm glad you're finally on my side, Kenny. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. That's not really something that you would want to end up saying in or admitting. There what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when stop it? 
Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. I'm in the mood for new people. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened, I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry yeah. for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. We can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty Sorry easy. about that. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. All right, I'm going to be letting it go for this episode. Thank you for being around with me. I'll see you in the next.